Environmentalists have been fighting to cut the use of plastic straws and bags for years. Now they're also focusing on balloons because they say they're a threat to wildlife. Releasing balloons in large numbers is illegal in five states, and this year, Rhode Island, one community there, banned the sale of and use of all balloons. Other cities are also introducing legislation. Now the movement's reached Clemson University, which for decades has started every home football game with its iconic balloon release. Mark Strassman is at Clemson's football stadium in South Carolina, where the future of balloons might be deflating. Mark, good morning. Good morning. Like all big time football schools, Clemson is big on its traditions, and one of them is really tomorrow when its players run down that hill. But longtime fans will look up and notice that something's missing. After 35 years, the school is ending its massive release of balloons. It's the latest sign of a rising environmental debate. Clemson's pregame ceremony, which includes releasing 10,000 balloons, has been called the most exciting 25 seconds in college football. But then gravity kicks in. What goes up must come down. People wouldn't litter something on the ground, but then they might not think twice about letting a balloon go in the air. Danielle Vosberg co-founded the nonprofit Balloons Blow. She considers balloons litter and a threat to wildlife. They're just releasing them by the thousands. Vosberg has targeted Clemson and the University of Nebraska, which has its own balloon tradition. She rented this billboard in Lincoln, urging the school to end it. She started cleaning Florida beaches as a kid and says she finds balloons that sailed hundreds of miles. And how often do you find balloons? Most of the time. Vosberg rejects the yes. industry's yep. argument that latex um, balloons are biodegradable. In her backyard shed, she has stored six years worth of balloons cleaned off nearby beaches. Which tea was worse, the, the latex or the mylar? I'd say the latex because those are the ones more commonly found in the stomachs of dead animals. Animals like sea turtles and wild birds sometimes mistake balloon fragments for food. Environmentalists in the balloon industry disagree whether that threat can be fatal to wildlife. There's debate over how long they take to break down, but they are, in fact, biodegradable. Lorna O'Hara is executive director of the Balloon Council. We don't dispute that they sometimes find balloon fragments, but when they open them up, there can be anywhere between five and 25 things in their stomachs. Do you understand why there is pressured to remove balloons as a potential threat. Yes, but we would like to see people's behavior changed. We're discouraging balloon releases, uh, but we prefer education over legislation. But Vosberg says it's time to pop the balloons. If they're so biodegradable, how come I still have some sitting in my backyard over six and a half years? And even if people stopped releasing balloons today, this Balloon pollution will still persist in the environment and keep watching, washing up along the shores for many, many years to come. We reached out to the University of Nebraska. They told us their balloons are biodegradable and they use only paper strings. As for Clemson, they're planning a little switch. Instead of balloons, they're going to go with even bigger firework shows all season long. Nora? Mark, all right, thank you. I liked that shot you did. There was lots of balloons in the midst of the living room for that, that interview. But it's getting people thinking, though, about all kinds of plastic that we're using. Mm -hmm. The plastic bags at grocery stores, straws, all of it. Yeah. I also wonder how fireworks affect the environment. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Mark, don't go after fireworks. <laughs> no, that's too much. <laughs> too soon. That's so America, yeah. right? Yeah, I'm Fourth sorry. July. No, no, no. I, didn't say that. <laughs> I know. The cross the, the thought crossed my mind too though. Absolutely. All right. The NFL